Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. How are you all? This is not the way we would normally do a show, but shout out to the Kelsey's. The uh, is it Jason and Travis for showing us siblings don't have to be in the same place at the same time to do a show. Do a show, and um, or you know, I don't. Are we the first ones to have it where someone's in a car and someone's in a home? <laughs> well, do you want to explain why, Sin? I'm Allison, by the way. I'm Cinnamon, and um, we were actually had just completed hair and makeup for our show this morning. Our little table is going to be empty this morning. We will not be filming until late, late, late night tonight. Oh, it's going to be a late night episode. And had everything set up. Excuse the sirens. I'm in L.A. We were doing the setup for the show, and I got a text calling me down to L.A. for a 1230 meeting. So I, um, I, I jumped in the car and got here an hour early. And so I um, I think, I wonder if they're trying to pull up to where I... <laughs> well, uh, I, I'm the director of this episode because it is an odd number. And uh, the theme of this show, I'm just going to go along with this, the, the uh, outline we prepared when we thought we were, uh, is cozy in the cabin. That's our theme for today. And if you're following... I want to hear where you're going to have your lunch because I passed the village. We have not seen the village since they did all their decorations and just from the little peeky poo I had on my way down the mountain, it is looking. Yeah, we have not been to the village since we came back from Thanksgiving. So that's actually where I'm heading for lunch. And I know we talked about maybe when you get back, we'll head there for dinner, but can't have too much village during the Christmas season. No. They, their decorations are on point. It looks like a Hallmark movie. I'm going to be honest with you. It does. It's it's spoiler very... alert. They've got garlands, they've got ribbons, they've got everything all set up to look exactly like you would want a little mountain village at Christmas to look. So well, so I was gonna say if you're if you're following along with uh, our Instagram stories, and I'm guessing you haven't yet, Sim, because you've been driving. Check in. I've been updating <sighs> Cinnamon with my progress in my writing. Wink, I Y K Y K. If you know, you know how my writing is going. <laughs> but all right, um, for chit chat this morning on our theme of cozy cabin, I had planned we're gonna do an unpackaging. So this is gonna be a little <laughs> tricky. I have here uh, when our our family all went away to Texas, you may know, for Thanksgiving. No, don't, do the, don't do the cottage. That's what I'm doing. No, Sin, you can't. Just two of them. But just two. We have, no, listen, no. Listen. Oh, it's more exciting when you're far away, isn't it, Sin? So what we're going to do here is uh, our Aunt Kathleen, shout out to Aunt Kathleen with a big thank you, has given us quite a few of her um, David Winter uh cottages and we have a whole which system. i collect which i collect i absolutely love them i collect them too pause for dog well, that's do not now. waking up uh we were going to go through them we have a very uh detailed system of how we're going to figure out who gets what because the first person opens up a box we're doing that by lottery style is that correct Sin? well What's so i system? mean al you've gone so far off the script with opening these boxes before we had a chance to lay out our plan because we i wanted us to know who has first pick before we see them? Because I don't want there to be hurt feelings if someone already kind of well, has. So this is this or... is not the picking. This is just the unveiling and looking at what two options are. So which one do you want to unbox, Cinnamon? I'll say the one on your left. This one. Yes. And this doesn't mean this is yours. It just means. Well, I mean, it's not we've yours. We've caution to the wind, haven't we? We've we've tossed out the script. We've tossed out every rule and regulation. And am I am I having a seizure? <laughs> Well, we're we're just um, we're not assigning to whom they belong because that we know. Away while the cat's away, a l. We're gonna have a whole process for deciding who gets what and whom gets who and what have you. And here I am in the cabin. Oh, it's cozy. I feel um, like my angle is really. Let me just move my seat. Slide my seat back in. ever so slightly. There. Right, so I'm trying to do a little of the ASMR, if you will. I don't know where the microphone is on a laptop. I'm filming on my laptop instead of my... Are you really? Oh, look at that. That's the look first unveiling. That. There yeah. it is. My first time yeah. seeing it is on the screen as well. I didn't even look at it until I... That's, so that's mine. That's beautiful. That I already said dibs. Black... I don't know. I'm glad you're recording this. And our audience heard that I said dibs even as you were talking. I said no, dibs. Black. I didn't hear it. Blackfriars Grange. Oh, so one of us will get this. Dibs. Or it might, it might go missing. I don't know where I put it. Dibs. I don't know where I put it. 
Okay, Where let's do the next one. Here's the second box. Here's our second Dibs. on opening, Dibs. unboxing. Dibs. Dibs. Go ahead. One sec. No, don't say dibs. I heard that. I heard that. You can't control me. You can only control your reaction to me. Don't forget that. That's a uh, truism, a cinnamon truism. There's more more sirens coming. Oh, is he drawing his weapon okay. out? What is happening? What is happening? Well, if you talk, though, they won't see the unboxing. Here we go. Okay. Yes, you can have that one. And this one is, this is the schoolhouse. Dibs. I already said dibs on this one. This is the schoolhouse. Uh, that's my future home. That is oh, love. No. A schoolhouse? Um, literally, I don't know if you see this. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I just saw that. All right. So those are our first two unveilings. Thank you, Aunt Kathleen, for sending. Thank you, Aunt these. Kathleen. Oh, I'm just going to put this here and see if I can create a little bit of a of a of a. You I'm okay there, Sam? Well, I'm wondering if can you see all the uh, emergency stuff happening? Just trying to preserve the. Is everything you know, okay? Um, all right. So, uh, moving on to our theme today, cozy from the cabin. Alexa, what's the weather today? The current weather is 37 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can expect partly sunny weather with a high of 43 degrees and a low of 26 degrees. So what's the te what's the weather in LA? So I'm guessing You'll it's have to ask Alexa. Ask Alexa. Alexa, what's the 30... weather in Los Angeles today? In Los Angeles, California, it's 65 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly cloudy skies. Today, you can look for showers with a high of 66 degrees and a low of 50 degrees. That is a 20 degree difference, Sin. It Did is she just in the say 60s. showers, huh? Did she say showers? Oh, I, I forgot to listen. It, it's overcast for sure. So I was thinking, I I heard on our little local radio station on my way down the mountain that we're going to have snow showers in Big Bear on Friday, potentially. Um, and I kept looking at the cloud coverage thinking, oh, it looks like the snow is going to come today. But of course, in LA, they get rain. So yeah, that doesn't really surprise me that there's quite a lot of cloud coverage. I was going to say that um, it certainly feels like... Um, the locals are all wearing their down coats, looking like they're are heading they into the Arctic. <laughs> and someone from up north in the mountains where it's in the 30s, I, I'm ready to put on a T-shirt. If it's 70 degrees in Big Bear, we're all dipping, dipping our toes in the in the lake ready for a swim. So Well, we don't say the word funny. toes, but we, we like to pretend. Well, I lived in L.A. <laughs> I lived in L.A. We like to pretend we have winter, but we can tell the tourists because we're used to we need to be we need to be kept at a nice 78 and if it if it dips below that you will see us in coats uh, i'm so grateful for this time in the mountains though to 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 reacclimate to the rest of the world um, does this look cozy does this look cozy here oh not even close but here uh, <laughs> look it doesn't well of cozy we're heading to words of the day Words of the day. Words of the day. Words of the day. If you like your words, I've got to look at the past you episodes. You got to remember what those little. Can I remember the were. songs? What songs? I can't. It's been a while. It's been a while. So the words of the day are on me, and I found one about uh, coziness. It's the best feeling when you wake up, and it's warm and cozy, and you don't have to go to work. That's. Award-winning actress Emmy Rosum said that, and I thought to myself, uh -huh. I guess even even award-winning actors like to have a snow day. On that subject, how was it waking up this morning and being told you had to go to work? I had to. I had uh, three hours to make my way down to LA, which is exactly how long it takes. Um, yeah, it was. It you know I haven't been to LA since before the holidays, so it's. I was really excited. I started thinking. My mind immediately went to like, shall I go to the Grove? Shall I go to the zoo? And now. Having just arrived, I think, flip, flip of you as soon as I finish with my meeting and head head back to uh, anywhere but here, really. Uh, well, here's just, my quick just... question for you, Sin. For lunch, I was going to go to have Indian food in the village. Were you thinking mm. of that for dinner? Because I can save that for dinner and do a plan B. Oh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to, I think I'm going to go to the tea room that's in um, Pasadena that I, I like to always for stop lunch. in on my way up the mountain. And um and then we can do like pizza or something in the village so we can see all the lights tonight. I think that will be I'm really I'm excited special. to see the lights tonight. We'll put those in our Instagram story. Oh, um, yeah. All right. Now, Wildlife Watch. Wildlife Watch. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. <laughs> There's a lot of wildlife here, if you know what I mean. Circling. Me 
The sharks are circling, if you know what I mean. Well, you're in charge of the Wildlife Watch. Are you doing LA Wildlife or sticking to what you had planned today? Well, so the, the wildlife, I knew it had been a while since I had kind of looked up what was happening with Jackie and Shadow. And uh, when, the, when, when she's got some eggs laid, I usually keep Jackie and Shadow on the their live camera going 24 seven. So I, you know, in the background, but so and I we have a friend happen. shout out to Dan. He keeps it on in his classroom in New classroom. York. Yes. Yeah, so I'm hope for sirens, more sirens. Um, so I looked them up and they have been doing their, um, nesturations, which is when they get the nest ready to lay their eggs, which are expected to be laid between January and March. Yeah. Um, last year, um, Jackie laid, I think she did two clutches, none hatched. So this year, hopefully, fingers crossed, we get to see a little hatchling. But um, their nest has really been transformed with all the nesturations. You can see the difference because um, just a few weeks ago when I was looking at their nest, you know, it kind of, obviously, you can tell it's a nest, but it's it, it didn't have sort of a bowl that Jackie can sit in when the snows come up and it's just a little head uh, peering through. And now when you go look at their little nesturations, sure enough, they've made a very oh, deep Oh, so they've bowl. built up I the walls. I wonder if the, the I wonder if birds can tell that it's going to be a, a lot of snow this year because then I put very... milk out. I I put milk out for the raccoons or the kitties, whomever got to it first, because it, we, we'd left a, a carton of milk during Thanksgiving, and I thought, well, I don't want this. I'm I'm not going to drink waste. milk that's ten days old, so I put it out for the kitties. The the feral kitties yeah. went out this morning, and it was a block of ice milk. Yeah. yeah. It's a little uh, popsicle. All right. On the subject of cozy, we have current events. Current, current events. Current events. If you like your raisins, you like current events. Hey, I remembered. All right, Cinnamon. You start us off with current events because we had a very cozy story to share for current events. Well, speaking of nests, love nests. Um, <laughs> from what my sources tell me, a.k.a. all the Googling I've been doing, um, Taylor Swift, her South America leg of the tour has ended and she flew straight, well, with a stop for refueling to Kansas City. And then yesterday, um, the moving truck was seen because we know that Travis bought a more private, secure, gated, um, $6 home. million dollar estate. Uh, and, and the moving trucks arrived yesterday and so sources are saying that they are going to, since, since um, Taylor doesn't have any uh, tour dates for the next two months. Until they're February. Gonna have a, they're going to have a chance to have some quality time together. But I will say they've also recognized that if the Kansas City Chiefs do go to the Super Bowl again this year, um, she would be able to attend without canceling or postponing any of her shows because her next leg is going to be in Japan and her last show in Japan is the night before the Super Bowl. So she will be able to attend the Super Bowl theoretically. If the Chiefs make it to the Super Bowl, and I love how I sound like I know anything about football when I don't, no, but I, I am. Don't even know. They might even be out of the running at this point. I don't know. I'm what a hashtag is... trailer fan. So uh, also in our in our cozy, we were going to talk about this morning, we were supposed to be uh, interviewed by our local newspaper here in the mountain was going to interview us um, right after at 930. We were filming at 8 a.m. They were going to interview us at 930. All of that has changed because Cinnamon's in L.A. We're going to do it next week. Sin, just FYI, next Wednesday, we'll be interviewed. Okay. Or we Good. may be interviewing them. We don't know. A little bit of a miscommunique. We reached out and we were talking with them. And in that process, we... We said, you know, oh, yeah, we do do shows where we interview people and talk to people and uh, share stories. And the journalist who's interviewing us or being interviewed by us, we don't know yet, uh, said uh, she, we're not quite sure. It's, it's a little gray know. area. It's a little gray area. It's a little. So we're either interviewing someone or we're being interviewed. We'll find out next Wednesday at 930 a.m. And we will share that story with you next week. OK, show and tell. That? Show, show, show and tell. Show tell, and tell. tell. Show and tell. Show and um, tell. My show and tell, uh, which is what I, I actually put on for the show, um, because we we're talking about going through our childhood things um, during Thanksgiving when we were at mom and dad's house. And um, this is a necklace that my grandma gave me. You have to turn it around, Sin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that my grandma gave me. And it's got a little C on it and paintings of flowers. That's very beautiful. I do have a treasure that's very, very dear to me. 
was a it was a gift from my friend Elon O'Hara. Shout out to Elon if she's watching. It, here it, it is. I put it up there. It's the one thing of mine that's on the shelf. So here it is. This is my little teapot from Elon, and there's a little Delft, a little Delft teacup. There's also these. I think are yours, and I don't recognize these. These might be yours. Allison. All of that is mine. I also have a Delft set. I love you with all my heart. You've no, gone to my room. You've taken the mini tea set. And Allison, put them back in the box. Put no, them back in the, the bag. Put them back in yours, my room. But I want to I give a shout out to Elon who gave me the Delft. Al, it- when the cat's away. She gave you the Delft. That's not yours. That's mine. No, shout this out is mine. Thank you, Elon. Shout out to Elon. Listen, listen. Uh, Cinnamon, you have this uh, rooster. This rooster uh, stuff over here. <laughs> Cute. Allison, Someone. you know those were mass produced. There's not just one set of Delft tea sets. You don't have the only uh, Delft tea set Sam in the world. Gibson. Do you remember that? <laughs> you don't have the only Delft tea set in the world, Allison. That is mine. This one's mine. Thank you so much, Elon. If you're Allison. watching. Allison. Well, we're not going to, we don't want to have a fight right before I step into a meeting. I think this is an EKG uh, disc. Can... Right, I'm going to put those somewhere very safe where no one else can find them. Uh, thank you so much for joining us in this very bizarre, strange, cozy episode from the cabin and the cabin of my car allison yeah please put please put that tea set back in my room and please don't step into my room again until i come back because i, I absolutely feel like you're... will not i will be hiding it somewhere in a allison. square foot cabin you'll never allison. find it enjoy allison. guys remember huh <laughs> love bug i can't i can't use my other hand because it's there holding it is, the phone Sam. so love bug Remember, do unto others. Love bug, I love you as you would have others do unto you. Alex, Absolutely. Please my, on that note, please put my tea pot and oh, stuff. Oh no, up. no. Sin, you are many, many, many miles away. Enjoy your day, everyone. Enjoy your week. We'll see you back here on Friday. Ah, uh, that's it. Bye for now. <laughs>